This is a model of a pendulum. In this session, we will actuate the joint with a motor. We could use one of MapleSim's pre-built motors, but in this instance, we will construct a custom component from equations. These equations define the dynamics of a permanent magnet DC motor. Schematically, the custom component will have two electrical ports and one mechanical port. States from the equations will be mapped to ports on the custom component. Let's start by attaching the custom component template. In this template, you can create custom components from algebraic expressions and differential equations. Enter your equations within these square brackets. You can use palettes to enter mathematical expressions. Here, we select a differential operator. You can enter variables in the placeholder, and hitting tab jumps to the next placeholder. You can also use command completion to enter mathematical expressions. For example, here we enter another differential. Greek letters can also be entered with the same techniques. This combination of palettes, keyboard shortcuts and context menus mean that you can officially construct complex equations. You can also use Maple's entire range of symbolic and numeric math tools to derive and manipulate your system equations. In this section of the template, default parameter values can be specified. You can change these values once the custom component block has been dragged into the model. Here, you can add, remove and move ports from a graphical representation of your component and give them a physical domain. This port will be an electrical connector and we assign it variables that represent a voltage and a current. The list of variables are taken from the equations we entered earlier. Similarly, we can define domains and assign states to other ports, including the mechanical flange on the right-hand side. The mechanical flange is assigned an angle and a torque. You can also change the name of the component as it will appear in MapleSim. Clicking Generate Custom Component creates the component and takes us back to MapleSim. We can then drag the component into the model and connect it to the rest of the system. You can connect the rotational mechanical flange to the joint. And power the motor by connecting the electrical ports to a simple circuit that supplies a constant voltage. If needed, you could also control the voltage applied to the motor so that the pendulum moves to a specific angle. Let's now add a probe to the rotational mechanical flange that connects the motor and the joint. Let's plot the angle and the torque and then simulate the model. We're now in the visualization window. Running the animation demonstrates that the pendulum spins around in response to the effect of the motor.